trippin', baby. Girl, you trippin', baby. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another EMC vlog. Hope you're all having another amazing day. I woke up and it is so hot. That's the one thing I hate about Florida. Yesterday it was nice and cold, but then you wake up and it's like 85, 90 degrees. It's like, man, I want to be in the cold. That's why I love Colorado, just because of the cold weather. But we are starting our day by going to Buffalo Exchange. If you remember yesterday, I said I have about two bins. Well, I guess it's one full bin of just straight t-shirts that I'm trying to get rid of just for space, as well as Alan, my buddy that thrifts, he has some shirts in there that I'm gonna try to sell. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna see what they have. They are a little bit pricey, but then again, that's good for us because they'll give us more money. I'm probably gonna look for store credit to look for something that I can help you guys with. Reason being is sometimes they don't give you a lot. Like, I at least want $3 a shirt for those. So if they give us like $2 and we'll just take store credit, we'll buy something and sell it what they were selling it for just to get our money back, if that makes sense. Hopefully they like the stuff that we have. Hopefully they buy a lot of it because we need to make some space. We're starting to get picky on the fines. And yes, I am doing a 30% discount code. If you guys didn't watch the end of the vlog yesterday, a 48 hour special with the code TAKE30, 30% off your stuff, go smash it guys. So I got an email back from SneakerCon. Turns out all the tables are sold out, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I'm either gonna A, find somebody and throw down, that way I can have at least one rolling rack of clothes, or I'm just gonna walk around. There's gonna be tons of YouTubers, so I feel like walking around and like networking is probably the best and smartest decision rather than having a table, but we'll see. We still have a few weeks to decide, so hopefully I can get that figured out. So we only have 15 minutes, let's hope we can get it done. Stussy army green vest. Yeezys. I got this really nice Yankees jacket. Size 16 Gucci sneakers. We saw this last time, Stussy Huff. Vintage John Lennon shirt. This is a sick Rob Zombie shirt. Nirvana shirt. This guest shirt is fire. USA Adidas. Long sleeve burgundy polo. Look at this, we have the 99 cent tag from the Goodwill. 15 vintage nutmeg Marlins. Got one, got this one, 15 as well. Florida Marlins. Vintage Tommy pocket shirt, Misfit shirt. So I guess this whole entire rack is pretty much vintage that somebody just dropped off. If you notice, look, they have Vintage Pony right here. They have this Champion Clippers. It is a V-neck though, and it is a 3XL. Odom, what else do we got? I think I am gonna do store credit though. That's nice. So look what I just found. Brand new with tags. Bulls 45 Jordan. I'm not sure what size this is. Let's see. Size 58, which is huge, but look at that. We are definitely copying this. NHL CCM jersey. 
I got this Tupac shirt, but this branding is from like PacSun or like one of those. What is this? Sick Metallica shirt, front and back. These are everything I'm gonna trade for the clothes that I traded. Well, that worked out really well. We ended up trading 20 shirts for about six items, which I'll just go home and I'll show you guys what we got. So that was good. I mean, I could have took the cash, but I figured let's help you guys out. So it's a win-win situation. Also, when I was checking out, it seems like the manager was like, yeah, a few people have come in because they said that they saw somebody vlogging. So if any of you guys go there, just say like, oh, I saw EMC's vlog, so that's why I came there, just so that way they know. Maybe I can start getting sponsored by uh, Buffalo Exchange. But there was a lot more vintage there, and it was funny, because you could tell when there's tags from Goodwills. They have the number one on the tag, like how I showed you, the 99 cents vintage Marlins. So it seems like somebody was thrifting that couldn't get a lot of their stuff sold, and literally just took it there and dumped everything off, so. Shout out to them, I got the Jordan jersey, which I don't know why they would donate that. They slept on that, but hey, I guess if you need cash, you're gonna donate. So another man's trash is another man's treasure. So I quickly ran over to Plato's Closet, one, to check if they have any good stuff, and two, to bring everything that Buffalo Exchange didn't buy. I'm gonna try to see if Plato's Closet wants anything. These are all the shirts I'm trying to get rid of. So much. Deep hat. And this Polo Ralph Lauren with the camo orange. I think we're gonna end up getting this though. 10 deep overalls. I'm actually gonna try these on for personal. Got this Forever 21 zipper flannel. It's really nice though, gold zipper. Look at this Nike Air Max. It's like a jersey, but it's a t shirt. And then on the back, it has this Cobra. I've never seen that before. It's a nice Adidas shirt. Got the spell out. Look how sick this Nike Kobe shirt is. Like the water. Cheech and Chong shirt. Notorious B.I.G. Lacoste brand new with tags. Unfortunately it's a v-neck though. This Adidas shirt is sick. Three stripes on the back. Adidas shirts for days. So I'm not sure if these don't fit me or if these are like a style, like look how short they are. But I have them rolled up a little bit, but I don't know. They might look a little too girly. Well, I ended up selling four t-shirts and got $13. So figure about $3 a shirt. So that wasn't too bad. Jeez, look at this accident that just happened. F250 it seems like. And I have to make a U-turn at this thing. So I'm not really sure how this is gonna go down. So I got the shirt and I didn't find anything I like. I did end up trying on the jean overalls by 10 Deep. I love them guys, they were so fresh, but they were too short. And not to, you know, I always preach wear what you like and don't hate, like don't think of what others are gonna say. But to be honest, I can already see, if I wear that in public, people are gonna be calling me names, people are gonna be saying nice girl jeans. And again, I, it wouldn't get to me, but I don't know, I just, there's certain things that I do look out for, and that being one of them. So, sorry guys, I'm going through like the intersection of the crash, so there's a bunch of stuff, look at that. Jesus. So I am gonna find a pair of overalls, cause I have a short pair of Tommy overalls. But I want a pair of long sleeve or long pants overalls that are like slim because if you find vintage Tommy Hilfiger long pants, they're gonna be so big on you, you can swim in them. So I want like a pair of skinny. Like if you guys know Chance the Rapper, Chance the Rapper, that's like his thing. He always wears overalls. He wears burgundy ones, he wears jean ones. I know Supreme came out with a pair of flight suit overalls that's really sick, but those are like $100, so I ain't doing that. But. I'm gonna quickly grab something to eat and then let's just warp back on and I'll show you guys what I got for today. So let's do a little nice little spin. All right guys, so there's not too much for today's haul, but I always gotta show you guys. So let's jump into it. So if you guys saw, I did get this size XL and this is a vintage John Lennon shirt. And the reason why I know it's vintage 
is one, it has a timestamp down below, and I believe it's 90 something, and you could tell by the beefy Hanes, or the old Hanes tag. I think I'm gonna keep it for personal, but I might throw it up on the website. This, I, oh, it's a, oh, it's an XL, okay. This, I'm probably gonna keep for personal as well, but we have this guess, if you notice a guess with like concrete, nothing on the back. It says size XL, but it seems like it could fit a large. Size medium, we have vintage guess USA in this color blocking patchwork denim vest. As you can see, we have the guess USA right there. This is a size medium, and unfortunately, there is a button missing, but it covers the button, so it doesn't even matter. Then on the back, we have this really nice vintage guess. Then we have size XL, this majestic Yankees jacket. If you notice, it has like a cotton hoodie, and then this slippery material, the embroidery right there. This is a very nice jacket. And then on the sleeve, we have New York Yankees World Series patch. Then for the grail or the find of today, which honestly I am so surprised that we found it here. But I guess like I said, the lady or somebody came and dropped off like a whole entire rack of just vintage stuff and really nice stuff. I don't know why he would donate this, but as you guys see, brand new with tags, we have a Michael Jordan 45 jersey. Now, I just l quickly looked these up on eBay and they're selling for about $200 and that's used without the tags. So the fact that it has the tags will probably go for $250, which is absolutely insane. I thought this was gonna be like a $60 jersey. I was maybe like, all right, I'll, I'll put it on the website for 60 bucks. And then I look up and it's like 160. It's like, whoa. And it's kind of crazy that like, I'll be 100% honest with you because this is a big size. I believe this is like a 2XL. This is a size 58. So if you guys know what size 58 is, let me know. I'm pretty sure it's a two or three XL, very big. But I'll be 100% but I'll be 100% honest with you because this will probably be an eBay selling thing. But I got this for $25. Now, I'm not sure how they price stuff, but the fact that they priced this jersey brand new with tags for $25 and they have like Stussy Huff shirts going for $18, $20 is kind of ridiculous. Like clearly they have no idea the value of clothes and they're just putting whatever they want. But like I said, unfortunately that's all we have for today. It was gonna be, today wasn't be like a full trip to a thrift video. I mainly wanted to sell the things or get rid of some items, which we did. We ended up selling 20 items or trading 20 items and we got how many items? One, two, three, four, we got five items in return, which I think that's a blessing, you know? The jersey we sell for 200 bucks or 150 just to quickly move it, and that takes care of all the other stuff. So it's a blessing. I'm probably, now that I'm looking behind here, is all my t-shirts where I have like all the bins and whatnot. I think probably next week I'm gonna go through all the inventory again and see if I can just do that. If we can, if we can keep getting rid of this inventory and bringing new stuff, then that's the way to do it, guys. And that being said, I kind of want to start something or I kind of want to be different than any other YouTuber vlogger. I think I'm going to start doing raffles. Now, raffles in the sense of if a jacket is $50, I'll do $50, I'll do 50 people at a dollar a piece. 50 people enter a dollar and you have a chance to win that $50 jacket for once for one dollar. Shipped everything. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think that's a good idea. Just I think because not everybody has a lot of money. Not to say my stuff is expensive but let's say if somebody wants a $60 jacket and they don't have that but they can put two dollars towards a raffle. So let me know in the comments below. I'm going to comment and you guys either write yes or no about doing raffles. If raffles start continuing working really well, then we'll just do strict raffles. I would love to do raffles. It helps out you and it also helps out me. Helps out me because I can move the inventory. Helps out you because you can end up win or get something for as little as $5. You know, for the jackets that are 100 like, for example, uh, what jacket, what jacket? The camel jacket, for example. Or, okay, no, we'll, we'll save this, because this is right here. Fubu leather jacket. This is a size XL. Let's say I, I have a price at $100 right now, so we have 10 people, $10 a thing. 
or a hundred people at a hundred at one dollar a piece then you win this jacket for ten dollars or you win this jacket for a dollar so it, obviously we have to see how many people are willing to do it you know I'm not gonna do a hundred people cuz not to say a hundred people are size XL that would want to win this maybe you do so let me know in the comments below I'm, again, I'm going to comment either write yes or no about the giveaways and I'm just going to start doing that because I think that's a great way to help you guys and to help me. So if you guys enjoyed this vlog, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'll see you guys tomorrow and don't forget guys, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's Yeah, I live in the hype though, like every day live in the light show. Write him off, he was a typo I give you the time of your life though You trippin', I know you a queen of my